gone past three o'clock in the morning. It's May 2007. This is the time many of our local green grocers find themselves travelling to their local market. I'm travelling to Covent Garden Market with my uncle Manolo, who runs and owns a green grocers in Pimlico, central London. I've come to this market to try and interview the wholesalers, the greengrocers, the people that work here and are being muscled out by supermarkets such as Sainsbury's and Tesco's. In my attempt trying to get to know and interview people who work here, I have failed. I wanted to make a film on the business, on the product, the price, the way the small entities of this industry are being muscled out. However, this was not the fruit market I imagined. It was not the bubbly beautiful place we imagined in the centre of our towns. It was something very different. Operating mainly during the middle of the night, Covent Garden Market is the largest wholesale market in the whole of the country. I really wanted to know how the central port of this industry in our country felt, but I was not back in my attempts to do so. They were hardly friendly, hardly smiling and hardly bubbly. This is not a place like any normal market. People were not willing to talk, they did not want to go on camera. With the camera in sight they seemed agitated by my presence concerned that what I was filming. The wholesalers, the greengrocers, they were not interested in talking. But what struck me about this place is that there were a lot of immigrants working here. People from Africa, Asia and many other countries who are not only underpaid but paid cash in hand. They work in a market that is owned and run by the government, which is interesting as many people here are obviously evading in tax. The influx of immigrants, many of whom cannot speak English, and the state of the market is a massive change from how it was 20 years ago. 20 years ago it was in a completely different state. It was not only run by English people, but many of the people that worked there in the capacities that the immigrants find themselves were also English. 20 years ago it was almost a new market, having been opened in 1974. It was a thriving environment, it was very busy. The Sainsbury's and Tesco's were not as dominant then. There was room for extra business. It was a source of major income. Today it's an area dead in disguise. Areas deserted where businesses could not go on and have had to shut down. These parts of the market have been like that for many years and there are no signs that this will change. A place which is losing in the battle with the likes of Sainsbury's and Tesco's. This is the state of the largest market in the whole of the country. The market is suffering and is on the brink of being closed. But yet a place that has over 2,500 employees. If these type of markets are closed down throughout the country because of the pressure from Sainsbury's and Tesco's, thousands of people will lose their jobs. Immigrants trying to earn a living in this country will find it even more difficult to find jobs that don't offer much hassle. These markets are a real source of benefit, just if they could be controlled, in the same way as the domination of the bigger supermarkets we shop in.